in best first job news. Best first job. Best first job. I think I had that. What is it? What was your first job? I was a barista uh, at a bookshop. So I would, like when it was, it was college bookshop. So when it was the beginning of the semester, it'd be fucking packed, so it was fun. Like just selling books. And then when it was super slow, I would just make coffees and juices. I was a janitor. Where at? <laughs> at my dad's business. Oh yeah, I remember that you saying that. sounds like a Did you have like 70 keys? <laughs> no, no, there, there was, I actually didn't even have keys. You weren't a real janitor. What do you mean? Nope. Looks like some retina scanning place. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was just like when it was open, I would do all the toilets and all the fucking sinks and all that shit. What was the weirdest yeah. shit you had to see? Shit. Yeah, just actual human shit. They wouldn't flush your toilet? Uh, uh, shit. No, it's, people are dicks, man. When people can do things that were, where there's no like way to find out who you are yeah. or what you they did, do. they do filthy, disgusting things. Sometimes when I walk into a bathroom, right, and I just see pee everywhere, I'm yeah. like, did you blast off from <laughs> yeah. the pressure of your penis? No, like, just went <laughs> <laughs> Did you Especially at the airport, dude. Yeah. It's, it's hard like finding a clean jet? toilet at the airport. Yeah. Like water jet pack? Uh, I want to know, I want to see the footage and what happened. Okay, you know what I mean? see, y'all get confused. Unerals. Uh, Unerals. Unerals. It's where your penis water. goes to die. <laughs> we have very nice unerals. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me today. We got, yeah, so guys just pee on the toilet seat. They just pee, they pee on the ground. Pee on the, gr <laughs> 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 the toilet seat? I wish to God it was on the toilet seat. Yeah. How about that? Oh, it's on the bottom of my fucking shoes when I yeah. walk through the door. I pictured like a penis. It can just go, that shit can just go crazy. But they hold on to it on purpose. <laughs> but my real problem That's is that like when I go into the women's bathroom and there's pee everywhere. Yeah, like yeah. have y'all not been like, yes. because it, that doesn't move. You cannot pull the urethra out and aim it. You like, find pee like a lot on the wall and shit. No, 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 on the wall. <laughs> well, I think it's the girls that are squatting and then they'll just pee all over the seat, oh. but they don't wipe it. If you do that, fuck you, dude. Yeah. I, I want somebody to tell me a legitimate story of how they finished using the restroom and the pee ended up everywhere. Like, give me a good excuse because yeah. there's I no can't, good excuse. I don't get it. Dude, sometimes though, as a guy, if you're at your house and you have like morning wood, yeah, it's just so fucking annoying because it's it doesn't pee correctly. So you're over here trying to aim. That's what I do. I put my hands on the top yeah, of the, the ceramic thing and it went down. I'll tell you what I do. It won't bend that way because it's up. It's, up, so it's ready to rock and roll. Because so I don't know what's gonna happen. You doing some fucking yoga poses. Yeah, yeah you have to. You have to. Yeah. Like, have you ever tried to pick up shit like where you don't want to bend? Your legs, right? So you have to just throw I a leg back. Right <laughs> 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 what about you? No, if I have morning wood and I know I gotta go to the bathroom and I'm like, I don't know what's about to happen, but I'm about to take it out, I'm like, well, here we go. <laughs> Wait, why are you guys so stupid? Why don't you guys just go into the shower and then just wipe, do it after? Because I've done that in the shower and you yell at me. Because yeah, uh, no, you don't no, rinse. You Thank that. you. You mm. don't rinse. If you fucking rinse it real quickly. No problem. Rinse it all the way up there. Oh, because the penis is pointed up there. When I run the water tunnel, I'm wasting water. We're wasting water because you're brushing your teeth, which is a two minute thing. Yeah. And you have the and sink on the, the whole time? Because I want it to be hot when I get in there. Do you know how much water that we have on the planet Earth? So much fucking water. <laughs> So, I thought you were gonna oh, that's a great <laughs> argument. Uh, you got me. 85% of the planet's covered in water. But it's not usable. It is if you build a desalination plant, Tiff. And we have those that yes. are like effective that can yeah. just yes. do the entire planet. Yes. 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 We could build as many as we want. Anyway, we haven't gotten to the submitted by. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Damn. Submitted Damn. by Christmas in October. That's weird. Man, you know, no, it's Halloween's not. Halloween's in October. Can we have Christmas all year round? I'm you with you. Yay. Hey, People Christmas. are generally nicer during Christmas, though. I they love are. Christmas, yeah. dude. Christmas. Who doesn't like Christmas? I don't like Christmas because is it sad for you? No, it's because people oh. give me presents and I feel like I have to give them back and like I don't. Well, want fuck them. Oh, bah humbug. Oh, humbug! You get too many presents you know around you Christmas. <laughs> I know. Poor you. Jess is watching this right now and she doesn't even get one present. <laughs> No, she, she doesn't. I give her presents. Talk about it at lunch. I was like, why the fuck you attacking Jess, bro? No, Jess is watching this right now, and she just put her hand on the screen while Bo said that she only gets presents for Christmas. And for some reason, like, oh, what her screen that is frosted. Like? So for my entire like like childhood and teenage years, I kept telling my family like, don't give me anything for presents. Don't give me anything. Don't give me anything. So finally, in the last three years, they stopped getting me presents, and now I feel a lot. No, I feel better. I feel guilt free, like less guilty, you know, because I've never gotten them shit. I haven't gotten a gift from my presents. In year, from my parents in years. Yeah, from your presence, uh, yeah. yeah, from my presents in years. <laughs> See, we're all fucked up. It feels weird getting a gift from my parents now. Me too. Because yeah. now I'm old enough that I should be giving it back to them. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, but I mean, I just, you know, I've been self-sufficient.
my whole life. Well, I've been in the game a long time, so I couldn't, I can't take shit. What, what I like about Christmas isn't even the presents. It's like, it just, it feels like cinnamon time. Yeah, because you never got pine, presents. Pine tree time. You never snow got time. presents. Thank this whole Christmas was so bad. You're like the fucking rain man over here. Dude. Like Christmas tree time, pine, <laughs> pine tree time. <laughs> <laughs> Cinnamon time. Smell pine trees made me happy. No, you will get a nice Christmas, okay? You'll you'll feel it. You'll feel if, it. If you listen to his child, it's so it's sad, sad, dude. Like we would all say, like, dude, don't you love Christmas? And then Tiff will be like, yeah, when you get to get a Christmas tree, and then he'll be like, yeah, when you get to boil soy sauce, and it's like, wait, what? Like, what are you, you, you don't get locked in your closet for very long. Yeah. 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 Well, you don't you don't chew on ginger for three hours? Like, what? what you, how's your Christmas? Like, what the all fuck? Right, now the headline. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh my god! Yeah. Okay. Ooh. McDonald's launched a program to help its employees kickstart their dream careers in various fields. That's awesome. Yeah, we'll see how effective that is. That's Aww. dope. McDonald's that is, University? You know, this is great marketing for McDonald's. You know what? I'm yep. just salty because I, I'm just not going to get that brand deal ever. You know, never mind. What? Say it. Nothing, say it right now. Say it right now. Nothing. Was it a pun? No. Was it a pun about no. salt they, and they, McDonald's? They probably got a brand deal and you did it. <gasps> did you? I literally dressed up as Ronald McDonald for a Halloween. I didn't. You're too thirsty, though. That's too thirsty. I said not, not thirsty. That's Casey committed. That's committed. <laughs> he doesn't even eat McDonald's. Yes, he does. Eh, not really. He doesn't get to get the gr gr grilled chicken. Sandwich. He gets the non-McDonald's shit. Casey's the guy who secretly eats McDonald's like behind everyone's back, and then but then he complains about it to all of us. He gets the artisanal <laughs> fucking chicken sandwich in front of people. He I am talking it, so it. much shit about McDonald's starting from now. Let's go. Huh? Continue. Let's oh, get McDonald's yeah. after this. God damn it. Oh. <laughs> all right. So they started this new program or campaign. It's called the Where You Want to Be campaign. And it will allow select employees to be paired with mentors in five fields arts and entertainment, technology, entrepreneurship, healthcare, and restaurant and food service. That's tight. What's the technology sector at McDonald's? It's like. A better whipping machine for the coffee? No, like maybe, with actual maybe people. The so like ice cream machine's not broken. Oh yeah, fucking fix that. Please. Yeah, why the fuck is your soft serve machine always broken, bitches? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, no so milkshakes after nine because they don't want to clean the machine. I know the real thing. Yeah. I read uh, about it on Reddit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So like Tyler Oakley is gonna be the mentor for technology. Makes sense. Yeah, the YouTuber. <laughs> what? What? I like Tyler Oakley. He's not. Why is he the authority of technology? Thank you, Bart. Because everyone knows who he is. I'm sorry. Yeah, Tyler Oakley is going to sit down with thousands of McDonald's employees? Hey, we like Tyler Oakley. Why isn't Mark Zuckerberg the authority? No, but I'm saying Tyler Oakley is going to sit down and talk to thousands of McDonald's employees. No, so they're only selecting one employee for each category for this oh. thing. Or uh, however many mentors they're able to get, but they did mention Tyler Oakley. Wait, for technology, but what does he have to do with tech? Why did he get Marcus Brownlee or something? Well, because hey, you what? You don't like Tyler Oakley? No, I, I said that, but Gio says I don't like Tyler Oakley. That's more like marketing. Dude, like NKBHD. Yeah. Guess who's salty dope. AF? No. <laughs> James Ultra, do you know who he is? Sounds like a racist to me. He's an angel investor, <laughs> author, and podcaster. He will be... He's going to teach him how to make hash browns. Yeah, he'll be exactly food sector. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay, that would make sense. See, yeah. Tyler Oakley could go to like entrepreneurship. That makes yeah, more sense than fucking technology. Bryshear Gray, I don't know who he is either, but he does come out in TV show Empire, and he's the he's the mentor for the arts and entertainment category. Okay, okay that's that proper, sense. proper fit. Yeah, and then this dermatologist who graduated from Harvard Medical School will be the healthcare <laughs> mentor. Okay, 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 sure, sure, sure. Well, I don't know dermatologist. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, and then uh, McDonald's will track. This will athlete's track. foot expert. <laughs> I'm like, what the yeah. fuck does this have to do with anything? <laughs> <laughs> so they said that McDonald's will tap into its franchisee network for mentors in the food service category. And then they're saying that they're probably going to have the most employees in that category because they might have a lot of mentors in that category. But yeah, so they're just saying that they are really, they're hoping that this program could grow and just help their employees to try to achieve. Oh, they're also going to be offering free job counseling from Career Services Advisor. And then starting next year, the employees will able to will be able to explore career opportunities through a new mobile tool. So out of like millions of employees, only five people. There's only five people that get this for this specific because they're testing it out. Five people benefit. Bose is right. This is just advertising. This is just marketing. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Because Nailed it. You smelled it. 
from the jump. I did, I did. Oh, you know, and you know what? Reese's had a good marketing campaign Sorry, the other what? day. Reese's had a fire. What is that? Reese's. Reese's peanut butter cups. Reese's. A Reese's. 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 We say Reese's. What? I know what Reese's. Oh, R E E C I S. I'm Reese's. sorry. I thought it was. Reese's. I've never heard anybody Reese's. say Reese's peanut butter. Yeah. Cups. I've only heard Reese's. What are you absolutely talking about, dude? You're a fucking Reese's, dude. <laughs> you're a Reese's. Bro. You're a Reese's. 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 Uh, there's a room Reese's. full of people telling you you're saying it wrong. No, I agree with her. Oh, you're saying it wrong. Reese's peanut Reese's. butter cups. Reese's. It's, it's not two e's called. and two e's. It's re. Sis. Reese's. Reese's, Reese's. peanut butter cups, bro. It's not R E E S E E. Reese's. It's Reese's peanut butter cups. Reese's. Nah. After 26 years, you're not going to just take this. Did you ever listen to the commercials? 33 long, sure. arduous sure. years. You guys don't hear the commercials? <laughs> they say Reese's Excuse peanut me? butter cups. Oh my god. I think yeah. you're yeah. right. Can we play something? I think you're right. I think they do say Reese's. Yeah, they say Reese's. I'm going to double down on this it. and say absolutely the fuck it. not. I need you to put money on this right now, Steve. Oh, <laughs> well, wait. This title says you may have been pronouncing Reese's wrong this whole time. I don't know what it sounds like. Spill the tea! Watch somebody come out. Let's do it. Okay, let me play it. This is like some Berenstein bear shit. Yeah, I feel like it is. Because it was Bernstein or Berenstein? Yeah, it was a Berenstein, and I'm always like, I don't remember. I'm getting so nervous. Steve, I'm getting nervous. We're getting nervous. We're getting nervous. Okay, ready? Haters. Oh, God, I'm praying. Let me skip. I work on the corporate communications team at the Hershey Company. The Reese's brand is named Reese's. 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 You heard that? Damn. Reese's from Hershey, Pennsylvania. Next video. We need a public opinion. We can't just take one. <laughs> the person that works there? <laughs> yeah, best of three. Best out of three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Best, I agree. I agree. <laughs> it's not rock, paper, scissors. Uh, That's what I say anytime I lose. So Reese's, 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 Reese's. Okay. So, they, great marketing campaign. They were like, what do the people want? Good candy. So, in New York, there's this machine where you can turn in your shitty candy in exchange for Reese's. Yes, because that's my favorite candy Exactly, the right? It's just a vending machine, like, in various areas in New York. And, like, it was trending on Twitter. Oh, and like, that's I, amazing. I was, yeah, right? That's some good-ass marketing. How cheap was that, you know? Because you know what's so funny about McDonald's? They're like, well, we're going to start this, and hopefully we can expand. Yeah. You're a billion-dollar company. Yeah. What the fuck yeah, are you, you talking about? Expand. Hopefully you can expand. You're going to started way bigger and it wouldn't have done shit to your company. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And they were like, hi, Tyler Oakley, would you like to partner with McDonald's in yeah. this venture? And he's like, sure, I'll make a hundred grand for meeting a McDonald's employee for 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's right. And I'll tell him my life story one time and say, yeah, I gave him a technology update. Well, they get and to shadow them for a whole day. Buddy. Oh, I, I guess. Yeah, sure, okay. <laughs> <laughs> 